Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're gonna create lightning and use it to reveal on our text, but also, but also, you're gonna be able to use this technique to create any type of shape electricity that doesn't have to do with just text. It can be a nice you know, stock element like this purple going across screen like this. So this technique will be able to be created any way that you want. This tutorial is inspired by the 140 flash effects pack from Video Hive. There are links in the description if you want to learn more about this, but essentially it's, these are 140 pre-made assets that you can drag and drop into After Effects, and they consist of electric animations, which is what we'll be doing in this video, basic shapes, smoke, flames, these are awesome elements that you can add to your After Effects project and it'll enhance it in a couple of seconds and also save you a ton of time. We did a full review video on this, the link's in the description. And if you wanna learn more about the 140 flash effects, be sure to check our link in the description and you can watch the promo video and see if this is something that can help you with your work. Obviously we wanna focus on the text and I already have my text layer in here and probably the best way to reveal your text on with you know electricity is to go to your character window and there's this little swap icon here in the right corner and this will turn it into a stroke and you can change the stroke size right here uh, just by increasing it and you know, that should be, should be fine and there is our text now if you want to reveal on our text what we can do is right click our text layer here in the timeline go to create and click on create shapes from text now if you haven't updated Adobe in a little bit uh, it's just gonna be called create shapes from text it should be down here uh, but here we are in our shape layer and we want to open up this layer, go to add, and we're going to add trim paths. So with our outline created, we'll want to open it up and go to the contents, go to add, and we'll add a trim paths. Now we'll go to the first frame here, we'll open the trim paths, and we'll add a keyframe for start percentage. And we'll want to move this keyframe forward in time to maybe almost two seconds and set the start percentage to 100%. And now you'll have this. So basically now we just created a stroke effect which can be used for a number of things outside of this tutorial. Uh, but now what we want to do is, you know, close this layer up, duplicate it by going up to edit, duplicate. So we have two copies of this layer. Let's put this underneath our, you know, electric titles so we keep this separated for now. And make sure to hide the bottom electric outline for now. And we'll go to the new duplicated electric outline. We'll go here to the contents. We'll go to the trim paths. And we'll go back to the end here. And we'll go to here to the end percentage. We'll add a keyframe for it. We'll move forward in time and we move to two and a half seconds and also it's down to zero percent so now we have just this nice you know stroke effect going on here and this is going to be kind of the basis of our electricity so we can make sure our outline selected go to layer pre-compose and we can call it uh let's call it lightning distort and we'll click okay awesome and we'll go into this layer individually so we have a little bit more you know organization here and now we'll go to Effect Distort Turbulent Displace. All right, and we'll set the displacement to Twist. We'll set the amount up by a little bit and also decrease the size. And you can get really custom with it. So we're starting to create the basis of electricity and now increase the complexity. You're really gonna start to get that abstract electric lines. And now let's go ahead and duplicate this effect and let's just reset it. So basically we just added it again by itself. And from here, let's go ahead and decrease the amount. All the way to maybe like negative 20. And let's alt click the stopwatch for evolution. And we'll type in time star 75. So this will help animate it just a little bit. And we'll come here to the anti-aliasing for best quality and we'll set the high. So now we just have this abstract object in here that's just outlining our text and we really need to make this look appealing, right? So let's go ahead and add that color, that glow effects that really make it look like lightning, right? Or electric type effects. So go here to effect color correction tint. So what you want to select is the map black to and you want to set this to a primary color of your choice. So whatever color you want, so I want blue and this is going to be, you know, blue and nothing's going to pop up. So let's come here to effect perspective drop shadow. And we'll set the shadow color to white and we'll lower the opacity by a touch and we'll decrease the distance to zero and increase the softness by like to 20 and let's come here and let's duplicate the effect and let's lower the opacity even more and let's increase the softness to over a hundred so maybe like 120 ish and so far now we have a little bit of a nice glow in here and now let's go ahead and add the master effect effect stylize glow 
And from here, we, what we want to do is increase the radius like crazy, like 120. We'll increase the glow radius to about four. We'll come here to glow colors and we'll set this to A and B colors. And we'll go to color A at the bottom here. We'll select our blue color at the top. And then we'll come here to color looping and set this to sawtooth B greater than A. And boom. Now we have this amazing glow effect for our electricity. And that looks really cool. So you're probably thinking, okay, well, this is a basic, you know, design here. How can we really enhance this in a couple of seconds? Well, now that you have the idea of how to do this electricity effect, we can go back, say, into this lightning distort layer. We can duplicate the outline and we can offset it in time. And perhaps we can, you know, decrease the size. And then maybe hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And we can move these keyframes, you know, the start keyframes in by a little bit. So everything becomes a little bit smaller. And we go to stroke count, maybe set this down to four. And now we're going to have, go back to our main comp. We're going to have this outlined a little bit better. And maybe what we can do is go to the electric outline where our actual text is. And we can move this back in time. So now we'll have just the electricity coming on. And boom, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's go back into our, you know, our electric lightning to store. And maybe I'll actually move these keyframes out even longer. Just so that looks pretty cool. And of course, we can always duplicate this lightning distort layer and we can move this back in time so it'll always you know, be there. So you can make quick duplicates of this title. And you know, then it goes away after a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And now let's say you want to create your own custom lightning. It doesn't have to just be for text. Let me show you how you can do that really quick. So I'm going to come over here and grab the pen tool. The stroke is still selected and all that. So coming out here and we'll have this nice lightning streak that will go across the screen. So once again, we can go do the trim paths technique. That's very important. And we can open this up, you know, do the start percentage all the way. We'll set the end percentage to 0%. We'll add a keyframe for that first, and then we can move forward here, increase that to 100%, go to the start, move that forward in time, and set that to 100%. So now we'll have like this lightning that goes across. And then what we can do is copy our turbulent displace uh, effects and paste that onto our shape layer. We'll pre-compose it, call it electricity or something. Let's call it electric, no big deal. And we'll copy the actual like, you know, the glow effects and all that, all the styling effects and we'll paste that on there. And we go back into this main layer here. Maybe we'll actually increase the stroke by a little bit. We'll increase the size and we'll increase the stroke even more. And as we continue to increase the size in our turbulent displace layer, we're going to get some really abstract, uh, you know, electricity here. So boom, now we have this nice electric. All right. And at the glance of a render, this is what we have. And you know, it looks really cool. You can, of course, adjust the speed and the timing of the keyframes to really match this up to the style that you want. You have, you know, mostly the turbulent display settings is all in the size and the complexity. So you can really customize your electricity uh, via that way. Uh, so this is just a cool way to create some nice, you know, electric sort of style graphics to your text. And also you can create your custom shapes. And just to show you a little bit about the 140 flash effects elements from these inspired electric discharges. Uh, we're able to, say, bring in a composition here, and we can put it in our timeline over here, and we're automatically going to have this electric discharge over uh, 17 out of this specific category, and it's basically all the same exact thing. So we, so now we can really customize, you know, our electric graphic here uh, by adding more electric shock waves here. We, there's even, you know, straight lines as well, and we're just dragging and dropping these, and we have full control over everything that's in this pack. And of course we can come over into the compositions and we can just change the color like before, except these are a little bit more organized as they're parented to each other. And you know, there's that one. I'll keep that color there. But essentially this is exactly the same exact techniques as which I taught you. You have shape layers that have, you know, nice shapes in here and you can use the turbulent displace effects to really customize your uh, electricity effects.
And now with our drag and drop elements that we added just in a couple of seconds, we're able to really take the scene to the next level with these new electric type effects. And with some great sound effects, you can really make this look awesome. So that's basically how you do it. Remember, this is just optional. And this is 140 elements of just not just electric effects, but also fire, smoke, and so much more. So go ahead and check this out. Our link's in the video description if you want to learn more about this pack and how it can help you save a ton of time and produce awesome work. So I hope you guys are able to take away several techniques from this tutorial and create your own electric effects for either your titles or for whatever you're doing. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like if you're already subscribed to our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we produce two After Effects tutorials every single week. And also hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.